Hey guys and welcome to another video in which I want to share with you the generosity of one Mark Vergeer here on YouTube. Uh, about a month ago we met up at his place and we spent a day just mostly gaming and it was a lot of fun since uh, both of us we don't really get much of a chance to uh, just have someone over and game with uh, each other anymore. And uh, you know that's uh, something I'm not sure about Mark, but it's something I'm about. Uh, I really fondly remember in my childhood when there were friends over and you would just play games and uh, a lot of fun. But you know, friends grow out of gaming and <laughs> they do look funny at you nowadays if you uh, bring up a game. Since uh, life's not about games anymore, it's all real and you need to make money and stuff like that. Oh well. Luckily there are still like-minded people on the internet and it's a lot of fun to really physically meet up with some uh, people and you know just hang out and have fun. So while I was at Mark we also did some trades of some doubles at least uh, I brought some doubles of mine uh, I dug up which I knew I were, was, were doubles. Uh, and if you want to see what I brought to Mark then uh, Visit his video in which he shows off what I brought him and he made that three weeks ago. I'm kind of late as ever, but uh, you know, better late than ever. I keep saying that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you what Mark actually got me since uh, it's not really a fair trade to be honest. <laughs> and uh, he knows very well it isn't, but uh, he, got, he got rid of some stuff which... Uh, well, he doesn't really want anymore and I'm always up for new stuff to uh, experiment with and try out and uh, these devices actually will come in handy so well let's just check it out shall we all right so first up the games um, before I got to Mark he said you know bring a backpack because uh, I might have some things for you and let me tell you it didn't fit anyway first off we have the black label gyro mind uh, which Mark had double. Uh, I don't really have uh, a rob, so it's little use now. But it's a uh, five screw cartridge, so it's interesting for that at least. And you know, it's a game I don't have, so it's a nice addition uh, nonetheless. But I should see about getting a rob sometime. Uh, another game I didn't have is the Donkey Kong Black Label. Uh, it's a bit torn up, but uh, again, I don't have this, so it's a great addition to have. Uh, can't go wrong with the uh, classic Donkey Kong, of course, so that's great. Then there are two Master System games. First of which is Laser Ghost, which I never really played, so I don't know too much about it actually. Of course, it's nothing on the back. It's a little, I guess it's a rental sticker, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, looking forward to try that one. And this one I'm actually pretty glad I got. Uh, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Because I actually do have the box for this. Uh, which came into in, in a stack of games I once got for the Master System. Uh, it came with the game too, but the game was in like 20 pieces. Someone had to go with the hammer or, or something because it was all messed up. And uh, no one was going to repair that, I can tell you. So I'm glad I get this, uh, so I can put it in the box and I uh, uh, don't think I had the manual in it, but you know, it's close enough to complete, it's uh, pretty cool to get it like this. Um, well, there was Sega Rally 2 for the Sega CD, or Mega CD, uh, what's it called here, uh, but I seem to have left that upstairs. Um, but yeah, I guess most of you know what that looks like. It was in pretty rough shape, so... Uh, <laughs> But you know, I don't have it, so it's great. Anyway, that were all the games. On to the big stuff. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a bit crazy with uh, Mark's generosity. Since he had a bunch of clone consoles, which he didn't really like anymore or want anymore. So he just dumped them uh, with me. First we have the, uh, let me put it the right side up. Retro Duo um, version 2 apparently. Uh, which is a NES and SNES uh, clone console or uh, NES on the chip, that kind of thing. Uh, one good thing about this one at least is that you can hook up the actual SNES controllers. 
which is a good plus since most of these consoles come with controllers which uh, are less than good, <laughs> to put it lightly. However, I don't have any clone console and I can't really, uh, my NES is out, which is good since most of these uh, NES on the chip things have horrible NES sound emulation. But the SNES, I'm not sure where that is, so it's great to have one of these so I can pop in a SNES game uh, when I want to. So that's good. Uh, another clone console here is the, uh, what's this, it's, it's a Yobo, there we are, PC Free Plus, which uh, has free consoles, the Genesis uh, also included. Uh, unfortunately you can't put in the normal controllers here, which uh, they are the tiny controller ports, but uh, yeah, they're kind of cool. Same thing with my uh, Genesis actually, or Mega Drive rather. Not really sure, or I believe it's on the bottom of the stack of the boxes, so I'm not really planning on digging that out anytime soon. But uh, you know, it's nice to have a replacement out which you can just play. And uh, I might do a review on these uh, actually, it might be fun to see how they uh, hold up. And uh, it's just cool to play with these a bit. Uh. Aha! Light gun being not compatible with LCD TV and plasma CD TV. Wow, how can I make a CD out of TV? <laughs> so I guess there's also a light gun uh, with this one, which is cool. On to the next one. And yeah, I, I might do uh, more in-depth videos on these. I just really want to show them uh, that's a car cat falling down. <laughs> This one is kind of interesting, the game box, um, which I'm not sure how legal this one is, but uh, it plays some Neo Geo stuff and uh, arcade stuff and Game Boy Advance stuff and I think you can put in Game Boy Advance games actually in this and there is a cartridge picture here but there's no cartridge in this, <laughs> it's all building games. But yeah, this is kind of interesting, uh, and, and build quality of this is also actually pretty good. So that's uh, kind of cool. I'm mostly looking forward to doing a video on this one, since it's the most interesting one actually. The other are just clones, but uh, this one is actually kind of neat. And finally, we have another clone console. This time it's the Blaze, which is a Mega Drive or Genesis clone. Uh, which is officially licensed by Sega, uh, but that's, I believe, something they do a lot nowadays. Uh, put stamping their name on some inferior hardware clone things. Uh, it comes with some, uh, well, 15 actually, internal games, which is always nice. But I do have to say one thing, this really annoys me always. You, with these clones you either always get either only Sonic 3, or Sonic and Knuckles. Why can't they ever give you Sonic 3 and Knuckles? That'd be nice for once. Oh well. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to test this out and see how it plays. And guess what? It has a reason too. Because remember this one? Mickey Mania for the Genesis? Well, a lot of you people, when I showed this game, as uh, Mamecade gave this to me, when I showed it, a lot of guys uh, requested if I do an LP of this, so we're going to do just that. Uh, maybe on this console, maybe on the Yobo, maybe if the sound is cryptastic on both of them, I will bite the bullet and just dig out the real thing. But uh, I hope one of these will do. Uh, it's not going to be a very long LP, probably just three videos since uh, it's a rather short game, but it's a good one, so it'll be a blast. And I hope you will join me then. Well guys, that's all the show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care.